Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 3. Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 3. And it says, many people shall come and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways and we shall walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Now I'm going to put it in context, start with the verse before it and finish with the verse after that so we can get a better picture and we'll see if God opens our eyes to some wonderful truth here. Praise the Lord. Now, when we look at this, I want us to have spiritual eyes. This is not about climbing a mountain. We know that Moses climbed the mountain to meet God and Jesus went up on the mountain to pray. Those were symbolic of a spiritual ascension, reaching God and uh, coming up the mountain. Zion is a place of rest. Jerusalem is where the word is going to come from. This is the promise that God has. Now, let's read through it. Now, it shall come to pass in the latter days. This is the latter days, by the way. That the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills. And all nations shall flow into it or flow to it. Many people shall come and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways and he, we shall walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and rebuke many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is the harvest. This is where the, the truth is going to come forward. Everyone will lose faith in their small g gods of this world. Everything will be crumbling and they're going to say, there, there is the mountain of God. There is where the truth is. This is where we're going to go to learn the truth and learn who he is and walk in his ways. This day is coming. This is the day of the future. A new Jerusalem is where they're going. And what does the Bible tell us about this new Jerusalem? Revelation chapter 1 verse 2 says, Then I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down out of, of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Amen. Praise the Lord. Does that mean God is marrying a, a city with walls? No, what is this new Jerusalem? It's prepared as a bride. Who is the bride of Christ? The church is the bride of Christ. The preparing is a the coming down is a visual, I mean, a spiritual event. It is when God uh, fills his, his temple, he fills his church with his spirit. He comes down from heaven, and now the bride is prepared, and that is the the, the mountain on top of the mountains, the place that they will see God and come to him is through his bride, through his church that he has prepared. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. And we ask you to give us patience as we see everything happening around us. Now we see a lot of chaos and we are also starting to see signs of revival. And we thank you for that. And we're very blessed by that. But this is what you have planned for us as well. Just give us the patience, finish the work in us so that we are ready, Lord, that, that we are your hands and feet, that they don't see us anymore, that you bring us, that we would decrease until we're, there's not us. It's just you living through us as your hands and feet. And then, then people will see you and come to you because they'll be so unavoidably attracted to your love and your power. They will know without a shadow of a doubt that you are real because you have prepared your new Jerusalem, your bride, to re represent you. And we thank you for including us in that plan. We're very thankful and humbled, and we can't wait, but we need to, so help us. Your will be done in your timing, and we look forward to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.